last time on Steins Gate Elite. Hmm, huh? Stop shaking me, Ukraine. <laughs> shake, shake, shake. Maybe she's getting a headache. Head bobbing. I didn't see anything. We this is fun. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Now back to da -da -da. Just do it, it'll turn out okay. Hey everyone, it's Vendilly1988 here again, and I'm ba this time I'm back for more Steins Gate Elite. It has been exactly one month since I played this game, but with the stuff going on outside, I have a lot more time to play games now and, and edit. I get a little faster editing and better editing, but I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm warning. Cause I have to. But anyways, last time, uh, Okabe found found a girl he thought was dead was alive, and he was freaking out. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Is she an illusion? No, an, an evil spirit. Am I haunted? I don't believe in such unscientific drivel. I'm a math scientist. Phil Silky, quite the cuticles. Substance. She has substance. Of course he's not a ghost. How silly of me. <coughs> Her skin is so soft. So alive. Dead bodies don't feel like this. Not that I've ever touched one. Oh, mm? oh, Okay, I, I don't think that's a good idea. Oi. Hey! Are you trying to get yourself arrested? I just want to know the truth. That's right. She was she was stabbed, and we see this hiding her wounds. This requires further investigation. I grabbed the hem of her jacket. <laughs> Pull it aside. Take a good look at her chest. What truth? What truth, you perv? You stupid? You wanna die? Luis chan no Luis chan's Luis chan's famous line for the win. Right. No, no. Oh, no, no, what I saw. Right. Okay. Alright. Ah, it's Chan. 
fictional, the main heroine of the anime, the familiar of Ten, Sundar, Sundari. Her, her voice actress is Queen of, is Queen of Sundari. Sigmi Ri. Hi. So I almost fit up not too fast. Not that that was that try that square. Uh, I know what I saw. Earlier this afternoon, after Dr. Nakabasa's pre presentation, someone killed Makisi Kurusu and left her in a pool of blood. I can't explain everything that I saw. Doctor Nakabachi. Wait, Dr. Nakabachi? Okari, Nani Terun? Nakabachi no happy guy in a chushin in What are you talking about, Okarin? Dr. Nakabachi's presentation was cancelled. Seriously? Cancelled? So, Jin Koye say no tsuilaku de. Yeah, because the satellite crash. Something's wrong. Our stories aren't matching. It's the same thing after, that happened after, right after I saw the mass disappearance. Mayuri's story didn't match mine. I need to know. Am I caught in some sinister plot? <coughs> Is this another organization conspiracy? Excuse me, um... My name is Hoin Kiyoma! Really, man? You're hopeless. Okay, Hyonin Sean. I'd like to hear your story in more detail. Honorifics, Japanese. Japanese employs a system of suffix, name suffixes that define the speaker's relationship to addressee. The common honorifics are as follows: San. The most co common honorific use for strangers, people of equal status, and in general, whenever one needs to be polite. Whenever you're given the name Kiyoma San, and it gets a close relationship. K Kun. An informal name suffix generally used for male friends or male subordinates. Also used by males towards female subordinates in professional environments. Chan. The f a diminutive suffix that indicates a high, high, infec high affection, usually used for small children. Young girls are between close female friends. Tan! An even, even more diminutive version of the Chan suffix, most often used for fictional characters, mostly at to provide sense for added cuteness. She, a literally honorific, generally used for right formal publications such as newspapers. Some otake, such as Dari, use she regularly. Looks like she finally understands. I'm not lying. But I still don't understand why my memories don't match everyone else's. I doubt that I can give her a good explanation. Makishi-san, it's almost time. Huh? Huh? All right. Thank you. Kurisu glances at me one more time, then sighs and heads towards the small conference room. Okarin, 
We should go too. Go to a do you mean? Go where? <laughs> to hear the to hear the lecture, duh. <coughs> ah, that. Did she come to attend the lecture too? Strange. Why would the girl genius Makisu Kurisu need to attend a lecture like this? Tick, 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 tick. Okay, my guess was a bit off. The girl genius didn't come to attend the lecture. Um, okay. I like to thank everyone for coming to hear me speak today. She's the one giving the lecture. Japanese famous girl genius Makisi Kurisu, who had her thesis published at the tender age of 17. According to Daru, she turned 18 a few days ago. I first heard about her when Daru pointed her out in a Gossip Magazine article. It's my first time doing a lecture like this, so please forgive me if I'm a little nervous. Yeah, I is pretty mixed. <clears throat> it's mostly students like us, but there's a, there's also a few pr couple of professors. And and Krisu, Krisu just gave me a sharp look. What did I do? Just because I try I try I manhandled her and tried to pull her clothes off. Whatever, man. When I stare back at her, she quickly looks. She quickly looks away. Pfft, I don't care if she's a genius or whatever. I still don't like her. She may have the, these people up fooled with their Tim Tim and Girl act, but I learned at Radio Radio Con. How cunning and aggressive she really is. Even if her murder was some kind of hallucination, my judgment of her character is still correct. For today's lecture, I've been asked to speak on the subject of time travel. It's not really my area of expertise. Expert, expertise. Oh, sorry. For today's lecture, I've been asked to speak on the subject of time travel. It's not really my area of expertise, but I'll try my best. Oh, time machine. Time travel. Ho ho. Let me let me start by saying that time travel is an absurd concept. And I need to grab some water real fast, so give me a second. <laughs> Objection! Time machine got scurrinite to commit scurrino was so okay. It's presumptuous to declare for you to claim that time travel is absurd. Ukarin, you Ukarin, you magnificent fool. An ATF staffer entered the room ready to kick me out. But Chris you stopped them. Perhaps I got too carried away. 
いですよディスカッション形式の方が話も弾むでしょうし Um, okay, it's fine. I guess it'll be easier to talk in the discussion format. Thanks your proposal that the event step refrain from escorting me out. She sounds, he sounds a little pissed, but let's not mind that. But before that, please listen to my thoughts on the subject. これまで世界中の科学者たちがタイムトラベルについての理論を提唱してきました主な理論だけでも11に及びます Scientists have proposed many theoretical models of time travel but there are 11 in particular that bear mission Hmm What are the major theories of time travel? I've heard about the cosmic string theory at least 中性子星理論、ブラックホール理論、高速理論。The Transtar theory, Black Hole theory, Light Speed theory。タキオン理論、ワームホール理論、エキゾチック物質理論。See, タキオン theory, Wormhole theory, Exotic Matter theory。宇宙ひも理論、量子重力理論、セシウムレーザー光理論。Cosmic string theory, quantum gravity theory, Sestrum laser theory. Elemental particle ring and laser theory, and finally, number 11, Dirac antiparticle theory. Ugh. Hmm, not bad. Perhaps Makisi Kurisu is a worthy rival after all. However, all these smiles are purely theoretical. Some of them even contradict each other. Deva, Juni Ban Menorilon got Hakin Sareta to Stella Dokana. Well, what if someone comes up with a twelfth model? Oh, so this me. So they were to. Hm, ah, oh, ah, well, right, well. 13番目の理論によって否定されるかもしれませんね。It could be contradicted by the 13th model, not couldn't it? A cursed girl! You didn't expect that she'd twist my question and use it against me. All of a sudden, I can feel everyone's eyes on me. It's risky to be con conspicuous, so I probably shouldn't get too carried away. ちなみに、未来へのタイムトラベルなら、今すぐにでも可能ですよ。アインシュタインの相対性理論によればね。By the way, time travel to the future is available to us right now, not according to, to Einstein's special theory of relativity. I keep the wrong button. Theory of relativity refers to both Einstein's special theory of relativity published in 1905 and his general theory of relativity published in 1916, represented by the famous equation E equals mc squared. The special theory of relativity is defined by the following axioms. Objects cannot travel faster than the speed of light. As velocity approaches the speed of light, the passage of time approaches zero. As velocity approaches the speed of light, length link approaches zero. As velocity approaches the speed of light, mass reaches infinity. The general theory of relativity adds the following axioms. The presence of the large gravitational fields, the process of time slows down. The presence of large gravitational, large gravitational fields, space curves in the presence of large gravitational fields, mass, mass increases. For example, 
今すぐ羽田空港に行ってそこから沖縄駅あたりの飛行機に乗ればいい目的地に降り立った時その人は10億分の1両くらい私より未来に進んでいる For example, let's say somewhere we're to go to Hana Air. <coughs> yeah. For example, let's see someone we're going to Hana Airport and board a plane headed for Okinawa. Upon arrival, that person would be one one hundredth of a million second further in the future than I am. What does that mean? According to the special theory of relativity, time moves slower for objects that they approach the speed of light. For example, if you could run near the speed of light, you could reach a you could reach a point where time only moves half as fast for you. If you were to keep running at that speed for 24 hours, 48 hours would eclipse the rest of the world, meaning you would jump one day into the future. Understand? Hoin Kiyama? <coughs> yeah. Why are you singling me out? Then what about going to the past? Going to the past is possible right now. Take a look at the sky. Take a look at the sky. You can see the light from the thousands of years ago, can't you? Well, I was just getting started. Let's say we wanted to make a machine that could physically transport people through time. What would we need? The best candidates for this are the cosmic string theory and wormhole the theories. A cosmic string is a string shaped crevice set of extreme mass. A string shaped crevice? That must be how they enter our universe. Do cosmic strings really exist? The crevice, the crevice is as, as wide as an elementary particle, and at least as long as the diameter that is the diameter of, our, of a galaxy. Ugh! Keep on doing that. A particle, the smallest unit of matter, however. The definition of what constitutes an elementary particle is unclear. Certain elementary particles have a corresponding antiparticle of a, a opposite charge, like a particle. It could be like an atom, or neutron, proton, electron, or maybe a quark. So many think the physics lessons here on the Vendelia channel. Cosmic string. <laughs> It has, it has a 
math and it's math, so it distorts it distorts the time space time. If you were to, if you were to travel through the, that direct distortion, you could make a full circle around the string in less than three hundred sixty degrees. In, sh in short, you can do something resembling a, a warp. This is called a space-time angular defect. When you pass through an area of angular deflect, transit time becomes zero. <laughs> now, now we apply it to a cosmic string move, moving at a near light speed. According to the cosmic, carrying the special theory of relativity, time will flow slower for a cosmic string in relation to its surroundings. In other words, you arrive in the past after transit. If you, uh, if you, if you, if you use two <coughs> cosmic string theories, you can do a space de defunct jump. If you look back to your original location, you can return to the same time you started revolving. And that, roughly speaking, is time travel by means of cosmic strings. And by the way, just so no one misunderstands, cosmic strings are not the same as super strings. Superstring theory. In physics, this theory that all matter in the universe are composed of strings, the variations of which manifest as elementary particles. This theory with pots of dimensions is currently impossible to prove experimentally. However, it is said that if this theory is proven, it will explain all phenomena from birth in the scope of the universe on the macro level. To elementary particle, particles like quarks, I mentioned that, on the macro level. I'm a psychic. So you work there. You choose him or you don't take away your time and you always come on the one. Now then, you need three. <coughs> now then, you need three things in order to travel the path of cosmic strings. So no, it's it. You choose him. Korea, that's a steel this. Ah, Jimmy, you choose him up there. First, the cosmic strings themselves. Two strings, to be exact. By the way, they are hypothesized to exist only where the universe was first formed, so they might be a little, they might be a little hard to find. Two. If you find the moon, you can find the moon. 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 Second, you would need the energy that required to make them move at near light speed. <laughs> how much theory? Do you, how much theory do you think we need to accelerate something as long as Milky Way to near speed of light? I'm pretty sure it's more than a little more than 1.21 gigawatts. <laughs> oh, gigawatts. Did you get your reference? Or, or, or 1.21 gigawatts. Or, 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 or
and time paradoxes. In the first movie, the inventor of the time machine said it needed 1.21 gigawatts of power to travel through time. In reality, unit gigawatts does not exist. The scriptwriter made a spelling mistake. The correct unit is gigawatts. Third, you would need a spaceship capable of reaching these cosmic strings and returning. The time travel alive, time travel alive, of course. <laughs> what do you think, Ho uh, Wing Chan? Can it take on the th sounds of cosmic string time travel? <laughs> like that's even possible. What the hell is he trusting me? Looks like Hyo Wing Chan doesn't want to take the trip. In that case, let's consider wormholes. They may be a little more realistic than cosmic strings. By the way, Hyoin san, do you know what wormholes are? Since I've been challenged, though, I can't leave the question unanswered. It's like a shortcut through space, right? Yes, that's correct. There are two wormholes joined by a, a tunnel. No matter how far away the wormholes are, transit through time, transit time through the tunnels is zero. But oh no, there's a problem. The wormhole su tunnel suffers from super gravity and collapses as soon as it's opened. The wormhole collapses its, uh, on itself due to its own immense gravity. FGFG. So we need something to negate the effect of gravity. So called exotic matter, a substance with, with negative mass which re repulses the other matter. Negative mass, huh? It is something that floats if you leave it on the ground. Maybe not. I can't even begin to imagine what it would be like. Uh, that was weird. Pierre freaked out for a second. That, that mass has negative mass and negative energy. Oh, weird. Say that the time wormhole tunnel was being squashed by the invisible fist. In order to in order to pass through, you would need something that looks up opposed my fists grasping for so that I can't squish it anymore. Hmm. If you stabilize the tunnel of exotic matter injections, 
miscellaneous travel through wormholes become possible. To travel through time, however, takes a little bit more effort. Hmm. Ah, there. Ah, there. Okay, I'm, I'm, there. Ah, this button takes the text out of the way. Inject all Zach Barrett to repel the threatening forces. The wormhole mm -hmm. no longer collapses. Here. Okay. For example, let's say there's a wormhole entrance in here in Akamara, and the exit is in Los Angeles. まず、LA にある穴を光に近い速さで宇宙の果てまで飛ばしちゃってください。そして、果てまで行ったらすぐにLAに引っ張り戻す。First, we send the wormhole in LA all the way to the end of the universe at near light speed of light. And once it's there, we can get back to LA. Uh, how? So, I say, you don't need to be carrying the highest of the book, so she can't have a sock in the reality. Any more to take down our Akihabara near an hour, you know, how can you do you cotton your mass? According to this special theory of relativity, time slows down for objects moving at the speed of light, meaning the hole that returns to LA would be further in the past than the Akamara hole. So, you work a day. So, no joe tied a hole in Sanga Wam hole in the Tobikondara, two name mine or any kid. So, now if Ho Wing Tan jumped in the wormhole, he'd arrive in LA several years before he left. However, this can be called true time travel. It only seems that way. This is called the Yuramashi effect. Yuramashi effect. It was relativity, a phenomenon originating from the fact that time slows down as object approaches the speed of light. For example, imagine that an astronaut travels to a nearby star and back close to the speed of light. The ship may take a few years from the astronaut's perspective, but he returned to Earth to find that thousands of years have passed in his absence. The important part is to return to Akabar from LA through the wormhole once more, since the chance at time is zero. Huin san returned to Akabara several years in the past. Time travel complete. The pres the 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 pre swickus for wormhole travel is simpler, are far simpler than the ones for cosmic string theory. First, the wormholes itself, they may exist somewhere in the universe, but, but no one's ever seen one. Second, the wormhole is the one that can be used to 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 be used. The energy required to move a wormhole at the, near, to the end of the universe and back in your light speed. Third, exotic matter, which by the way has not been confirmed to exist. So, impl impl implantation. So, impl Implementation of either one will require a ridiculous amount of effort. 
and incorporate them into a time machine is even more unattainable. Now do, you, now, do you see what I mean when I said time travel is an absurd concept? Time travel theories are all time travel theories are all just a thought experiment. That one of them can create a viable time machine. That's that is my answer. That is the limit of modern physics. I can't say how it might change in another 10 years, though. Besides, if, besides, even if one did overcome the logistics requirement, there may be other factors that prevent time travel from working. That's because the fundamental pro problems concerning the principle of causality has, may not have been solved. A scientific and philosophical principle that states that, that every event has a cause, and it's by that cause that an effect is produced. The theory of relativity is founded upon the principle. However, quantum physicists have observed remarkable scale phenomena that do not appear to to obey the principle of costality. You mean time paradoxes and the conversation and the conversation conservation of mass? The mass of the entire universe is constant. If a time machine traveled to the, from the future to the past, there would there would suddenly be a, the extra mass of, of a time machine and its pilot in the past. I remember reading a, in a book, not not a terribly reputable book, but still in such, that such a violation of mass conservation would put the universe in danger. I didn't say what kind of danger though. If you, if, if you think the conversation of mass applies to macro systems like the universe or microsystems like atoms or or even elementary particles, you're mistake you're mistaken. What? Is that true? Uh, she's laughing at my re reaction. That's little. God, how mortifying. Conversation of mass, con conservation of mass only applies to chemical reactions. Isn't it a whole not in physics at all? Then what is the problem? The time paradox of time paradoxes. In other words, the grandfather paradox. Oh, that thing that you... Oh, that thing where you kill your own ancestors before you were born? As long as this paradox goes unsolved, time travel can never be realized. Never. <laughs> what if you just don't kill them? <laughs> you can't think of it like a sci-fi movie. It's not just about your family tree. There are other. There are far greater dangers than that. 
Really? It doesn't seem that dangerous. Any paradox, no matter how small, will cause a total collapse of causality, relativity, and other every other physical law in existence. Paradoxes are nothing more than thought experiments. They cannot occur in reality, and they should and they should not. Nothing that has even a point a zero point zero 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 one percent chance of causing a paradox can happen. Ears would not wouldn't allow it. Wouldn't you say that that is a logical conclusion? There may be loopholes like par parallel worlds or the self consistency principle, but those seem too much like fancy for me to accept. <laughs> I grind my teeth. It looks like I had no choice but to concede. Makisu Kurisu is truly is a genius. All right. I think with that, I'll call a day, but about 50 minutes, give or take. Uh, start editing this now. Anyways, I oh, hope you liked this episode. In the meantime, hit, hit that thumb up button and the little bell icon if you haven't yet, and subscribe. To, to me, because you never know when I'll have more videos up, hopefully by tomorrow. Anyways, never stop learning. I'm going to on this. I'll see you next time.